in Ekorodu, if you get to Shomolu, if you get to Ekwe, if you get to Ibejuleki, if you get to Koshofe, the impact of the train goes in the is so massive. So I will speak briefly on Ekwe. If you get to Ekwe today, there is a 960 capacity stadium standing that is the single senator has facilitated over there. So, Dito in Ekwe as well, the popular Asian Toluo fish market, the distinguished senators have been modeled that particular market again. So, the people in Koshofe as well can point to the fact that at Mascara Health Center, there is another 14 bed hospital that the distinguished senator has given to them over there. So, Dito in Koshofe again, at Agoike 2 Primary School, Ajedoko Primary School, the distinguished senator did you know, another block of classrooms you know, for them. Ditto for other transformers that he has given to various communities across the Lagos State Senatorial District. Over 25 transformers so far you know, have been given to various you know, communities. So what, there is a particular project that is of paramount importance to the distinguished senator, it is called SAIL, Senator Habib Innovation Lab. So what that you know, institute is doing, we have already started, we have a purpose-built you know, facility that will be commissioned anytime soon. So what the distinguished senator has been doing in that respect is how do we improve the human capital development, particularly of our youth in the area of digital, you know, and technology. So we have to be able to, you know, do that so that we can have the kind of skill set that is relevant in this particular, you know, age and time. So, Sir Senator Tokumbo Habib Innovation Lab is coming up anytime soon. So we are running already from our constituency office, but the permanent site is ready anytime soon. And I don't know if you have traders yet. So, Senator Habib also did what we call 300 million naira constituency intervention revolving loan for various traders that can assess at the rate of 6% per annum. So, and, you know, let me speak briefly. I, I know we have some of our CDC, okay, CDCs and CDAs here. You know, as part of the critical stakeholders, you know, in the development of the product, uh, Lagos Senatorial District, there is a scheme called uh, COVID-19, uh, COVID-19 relief support that the senator is doing, that is giving now a sum of 5,000 Naira to 2,500 indigent people across Lagos State Senatorial District. And I'm very sure that the CDCs, the CDCs we have in Lagos State Senatorial District, they are part of that pool. We have beneficiaries like you know unemployed youth, women, and, and so forth and so forth. There are about five categories of people that will benefit you know from you know that particular scheme. So that is what the distinguished senator have been able to do with the mandate we have given to him within a short period that he has been there. And he's using that occasion as well to solicit for support. For our revered national leader Ashwajibola Metinumbu, who is the presidential you know, flag bearer of our great party APC, that come February 25th, that we should all come out and mobilize people in our various communities to support you know, our, our very good leader Ashwajibola Metinumbu. We have seen what our leader has done in Lagos, and we are very sure that by the time Ashwajibola gets there, things will of course get better. Of course, Senator won't forget himself. On that same day, he is on the ballot and is seeking your support and vote as well. Ditto for Honorable Baba Jimmy Benson too, you know, they are brothers. On that same day, as you are doing APC Senate, APC Presidential, don't forget Honorable Baba Jimmy Benson too is on the ballot on that day. And come March 11th, we should do the same thing for uh, the said governor said that is a uh, governor Babaji did solution as well, and all candidates of the APC. So on this note, I want to thank you very much for your attention, and again I wish you a fruitful deliberation as we continue, you know, going forward. Thank you. 
Charlie and Timmy.